Hi everyone, welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. Guys, before I get into the news, I will be interviewing Alex Mashinsky. Many of you may recognize that name. He's a very successful entrepreneur and he's of course the CEO of Celtia Net Network, which is the crypto lending platform. So definitely if you have any questions, head over to my Twitter profile and respond to my tweet on what questions you would like me to ask him. Guys, it was bloody Monday, stock markets, oil, all crashing down. We, I think we are headed into a recession. The stock market had been on a 10-year bull run up and it was in bubble phase and now it's having its correction. And with the, you know what, that should not be named, the health concern, right? I don't want to mention a name because YouTube has some weird things going on with that mention and usage of that name. So the health concern is the catalyst on top of it that's driving the market you know even further down but it was due for a correction and we're seeing the bubble that was the stock market correcting big time a really big massive pullback and i think we're heading to a recession guys um cryptocurrencies also saw a pullback and uh fears i think fear is spreading throughout right but as the saying goes guys be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Now, I say that not between you and I, but those of us who are in crypto versus the masses that are not, right? And even if you were to get into stocks, right? Because we saw people who bought stocks in 2008, 2009, when it bought them, made a lot of money over the years. So if you're so inclined, these are the dips, these are the times to be greedy because the masses are running the other way. So I'm still bullish on crypto. I believe we are still in a bull market. Yes, we are in a bull market because I look at where the bottom was put in, which was December 2018, Bitcoin hit the 3000s and we've worked our way back up since then. Corrections and consolidations along the way. So uh, the other thing, and, and follow me here, guys, because there's some, some important facts I want to show you that the stock market crashing, the health concern, and so forth, and the WHO, the World Health Organization, saying, hey, avoid paper money. Avoid paper money because it's spreading you the, the health concern, right, the, that I'm not going to name. <laughs> so this is interesting. This is from the WHO, the World Health Organization. So this is essentially saying use digital. And we know China, they've been destroying their fiat currencies or paper money, uh, of course, because it's spreading the you know what. Now, keep that in mind. And now follow me here, guys. U.S. Congressman introduces Cryptocurrency Act of 2020. Interesting day for this to be introduced, don't you think? On a bloody Monday, uh, where the traditional markets are getting slammed. Right. Uh, so let me give you the details. A United States congressman is the latest working to clarify uh, de and determine which U.S. regulator is responsible for which digital assets. On March 9th, Representative Paul Gasar, Republican out of Arizona, introduced the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020, a bill that looks to choreograph a wide range of digital assets to answer the appropriate regulator. Now, if you recall, I covered the the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020 in a video two months ago because in December we got a leaked version of it that a Forbes writer covered and did an article about and it's very robust. We talked about how it identifies crypto securities, crypto commodities and all everything. It's a very robust bill. Now this is of course not the final version. This was a, a draft and a, a sneak, a, a leaked version, right? And like I said, it was submitted by Paul Gassar, uh, Republican out of Arizona. And in here we have details that, uh, you know, there have been like 13 versions since then. Um, as Will, oh boy, I can't pronounce his name, but the Gassar's legislative assistant explained to Cointelegraph, the bill looks to provide not only clarity, but legitimacy to crypto assets in the United States. And uh, it, you know, it identifies different versions. Like I said, the categories, crypto commodity, cryptocurrency, crypto security, and who will govern, who will do what. It will bring full transparency to the United States. And remember, we just saw India unban crypto banking uh, for uh, crypto exchanges and startups. We saw South Korea release their full guidance on cryptocurrency. So something's taking place here, guys. Remember, all these people met at Davos this year and um, for the World Economic Forum. So uh, it talks about the leaked version of the bill. And of course, by now they have the a more updated version and um, they have submitted the, the respective updated version. So 
For example, that bill we that was that was leaked, we were experimenting with a couple of things. That was our second draft. We're 32 versions away from that. Um, so a lot of updates being made here, guys. And we saw Steve Mnuchin, and he's been telling Congress and, and been saying on the record, cryptocurrency regulations coming soon, which I believe will open the floodgates. Now, putting all these things together, right? Markets, are, stock markets crashing, correcting, oil and so forth. Where is the money going to go now? Real estate as well is being pulled back, right? The markets are cooling off. I believe it's going to go to the new asset class, cryptocurrencies. And with all these governments around the world releasing their regulations, the fact that this was introduced today on a bloody Monday, I don't think it's coincidence. Um, and I think they're going to try to uh, save the economy a little bit here by introducing, I don't think it's going to save it entirely because you know an economy needs more things to function but this is the new catalyst that will probably help drive things uh maybe help help prevent uh, uh you know some sort of deep depression because it could create jobs and new tax revenue and so forth so this is interesting guys and this is bullish this is bullish so we have comprehensive uh cryptocurrency regulations be put been put before congress now this was also confirmed today and i tweeted about it shout out to xrp max here who uh, put posted a video representative paul gassar was interviewed by fox news today because he actually has the, the you know what that should not be named the health concern about it and he's has been in quarantine but he mentioned in the interview, hey, I just submitted a bill on cryptocurrencies talking about the, the legislation. So let me play it here for you. Good days. Well, that's that, you know, it all the way across the board, putting out the history. And then uh, I actually introduced a bill back in, in D.C. Uh, with, uh, on cryptocurrencies that uh, uh, came from within the, the, the industry. So what's the result Now, I hope you heard that. It's not too clear, but... Um, it's it's someone's recording the tv show right but he was interviewed he was over phone and he mentioned hey i'm on the quarantine but i was still able to introduce the bill right on cryptocurrencies guys great news and uh i'm certainly bullish on crypto now the other thing i want to show you here guys and stay with me here put to remember putting together all the pieces Today, we heard about China injects 4.7 million into central bank's blockchain trade finance pro, uh, program platform. Excuse me. The Chinese government has earmarked an additional uh, funding for a blockchain based trade finance platform developed and led by country's central, central bank. So we know the digital one is being developed by this uh, Chinese central bank and the, go the Chinese government is giving them more money to do it. And they're destroying the fiat paper money, right? <laughs> See what I'm talking about, guys, here? I don't believe in coincidences. There's a lot of things lining up here. And like I said, in context of South Korea, in context of India, this is interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, so I'm excited to be in the new asset class that's on the rise. And governments are on board and big money's on board. And... Here we go. Uh, we see more investment from big money. Paradigm leads 12 million round for DeFi friendly Argent wallet as it eyes April launch. So uh, very interesting. A crypto wallet provider. So why is why are investors putting money into crypto wallets when some according to some people crypto is done? It's gone. Leave it. It's it's over. Look at the price is crashing, man. Right? You st I see the tweets. I see the YouTube comments. It's, people are getting into the despair, anger phase. It's so funny to see them playing out the market psychology. It's that psychology chart from Wall Street is pretty accurate. You see people getting really frustrated. Um, the round was led by Paradigm, notably the venture firm's first investment in Europe. Argent CEO Itmar Lesus said around 3,000 clients are actively using the wallet ahead of its expected April exit from beta mode. So DeFi, decentralized finance, decentralized financial, is certainly a big part of the crypto future. I believe Ethereum will be a big winner. And I mean, you're seeing the services, the technology, the hardware being built around it, crypto wallet Argent just got money right think about that guys they're getting the money even in this economic climate because this is the new asset class have to be patient let it grow it will it will yield more higher prices and people fit they're caught up in their emotions right and sometimes people invest more than they're able to lose so uh that, but you know what are you, what are you gonna do now 
Uh, since the Indian news that we heard about the unbanning, Kraken announced plans to expand India operations as crypto ban lifts. See guys, they're expanding, they're investing, they're making acquisitions. That's how smart money operates. While uh, people on Twitter are come crying and complaining on, on YouTube. Oh man, the price is down. It's been 20 cents for three years and this is happening. And it's like, you do not understand market cycles. And uh, they, they fall into that <laughs> same market psychology uh, uh, infographic. It's, it's so amazing to watch that unfold. Um, now, some interesting news. We had heard about Jack Dorsey maybe getting kicked out of Twitter uh, as a CEO, but it seems he's going to be able to say. So two, $2 billion deal will keep crypto bull Jack Dorsey as CEO of Twitter. This is great because Jack is, of course, also the founder of Square. Square is, He's bullish on crypto. Square has a crypto division called Square Crypto, and he's, of course, doing things that would help Twitter be crypto friendly. You saw the Bitcoin icon that got added uh, to the hashtag. So Great to see Jack is going to be there, and uh, I like Jack. He's a smart guy, and um, he's bullish on crypto. He sees what's coming, guys. So I hope you see what is happening here, and you have patience. A lot of people don't understand the concept of patience and market cycles. Bear and bull, bear and bull. And, uh, you know, here, one of the things that is holding back the crypto market to a certain degree is regulations. But, but we're on the cusp of it taking place because we've heard directly from Steve Mnuchin. We see the bill being introduced today um, and there's more congressmen and congresswomen getting on board. So exciting times. Uh, you know, obviously it's not the most sexy prices right now or the most highest prices where, you know, you, you feel euphoric, but in due time, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.